This is West Virginia. It's remote, it's beautiful, and it's very, very poor. If the average income in the whole of the United States is $46,000 a year, in some of the poorer parts of West Virginia, it's just 16,000. The real unemployment rate is above 20%. A voluntary organisation called Appalachian Outreach hands out furniture, bedding, toys to people who are down on their luck in this part of the world. Moundsville, okay. and we're going to go down here to Annie's. And Annie actually just moved closer to the border. She's right here now. Okay. She's right over in here. I think in this country, money talks. And I think the voice of the powerful that's the one making the noise, that's the one being heard, that's the one with the uh, means to be a voice and be a loud voice. Whereas the poor just go about there every day trying to survive and they don't have a voice. Our reach right now is 28 counties with 57 areas, which is a, a good half of West Virginia. And mostly we target the rural community because that's where resources are more scattered. So what we try to do is provide those missing links that are critical to people in need. We're here outside the bread basket, a place in rural West Virginia that hands out food parcels to the poor and needy. We're here to talk to the organiser about the sort of work she does, the sort of people she meets, and how bad the problem really is. This is Rich County Bread Basket. One day a month, we give away food to mostly elderly and disabled. But if anybody comes in and says they're hungry, we don't turn them away. Most of them that we find that is actually hungry, they don't come tell us. Some, a neighbor will come and say, this person's hungry or that one is. I remember a bank. I changed banks because I went in and they had sent somebody else $138 of mine. Actually, they took it off of their, uh, this other person's loan, and I said something, and the guy said, well, it's only $138, that's not much. And I said, that's more than my loan payment is. And he said, we don't need you small people. He said, we have big money people that keeps us going. And that's how a lot of the politicians are. They have big money people handing them money you know, for their campaigns and, and buying votes and stuff, and uh, they overlook the small people. The Occupy Wall Street protests of 2011 were all about the people who come here for their food parcels, the hidden 99%, the poor, uh, the people who are suffering from America's grotesque levels of inequality. But the people who run these places are very dismissive of the politicians. Asked whether the politicians get it, they say no. Asked whether this is really going to be an election issue, they say no. For them, these are the forgotten people, the people the politicians would prefer not to think about. <laughs>